It says, am I compromising my beliefs by using a transgender person's preferred pronoun? For instance, calling someone going through a male to female change, she. Thank you, that's a really serious question, isn't it? Um, I want to share with you a, a, a passage that helps me on this. Um, I've, I've had the, the, the privilege and opportunity of spending some time, not much time and not enough time with, with transgender people. And that question becomes very, very immediate and vital when you're in an actual real life context. It, it is no longer abstract. You've got a few minutes later, lest he be wise in his own eyes. Sorry, I read the wrong verse. More moments later. So it will, to some extent, depend on the person and where I, where I think they may be heading spiritually. One minute, 37 seconds later. You should adopt that unbiblical framework in order to, over time, be able to show someone why that framework doesn't work. <laughs> I am so glad that we now live in a culture where, where people can be open about their sexuality. And so, to, to my gay friends, I, part of the impetus behind gay pride is this idea we don't have to, to hide anymore, and I want to affirm that.